Am I recording? Yeah. Hello, welcome back to another vlog. I'm in the same spot as I was last time. I feel like this is going to be my spot for standing and talking. Going straight in with the H&M haul that was supposed to be in the last vlog, but never mind. So, oh, we've dropped my book. Excuse any sounds of my director that's sat behind the camera, Andrea, who has decided that he's going to be having his own YouTube channel. Is that what you want to do? Yeah. Mm. Um, oh, this is for you, look. Right, we'll Ooh, start off. H&M haul, it's not a big one, so I'll just quickly show you a few bits that I've got. In fact, I'm going to rip all the plastic off and then go, because it's a bit noisy. You can take the plastic off for me. My little helper today, thank you very much. There's another one, there's another one, there's another one, there's another one. There's another one. There's another one. There's another one. Right, the package are undone now, so you don't have to keep playing with the plastic. No, no, no. <laughs> First up, just a couple of basic ba ugh, basic baseball caps for Andrea for the summer holidays. I feel like these were three ninety nine, but why when you get a delivery? It never has prices on. I'm sure they were three ninety nine or two ninety nine. Just a sagey green and a navy, and then some scrunchies for me. I've got an obsession with scrunchies. I love the look of. I might as well just rip the tag off because I'm keeping them. I love the look of like a really chic, I mean this is just a rush job, but a really chic low bun with a fluffy scrunchie around the top. I don't even know if you can see that. Can you see it? Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Anyway, that kind of vibe. So I've got a black, I've already got a black one, but I want to keep one in my handbag. I've got this ivory, but if you can see excuse my nails they need doing it's like got a shimmer to it i thought that was nice and then a pale blue next up we've got a sweatshirt i know we're in july but i've got reasons behind buying sweatshirts in july number one it's bloody freezing outside number two um i feel like these will sell out by the time it gets to september and i'll be like oh why didn't i get them when i see all the people wearing them on instagram so i've got this one which is black and white striped. I'm hoping by September it'll be oversized because I'm trying to eat healthy, but we'll see. If not, it will just fit how it fits. And I don't know if you can see this, but it's got a bow detail and it says, now I'm not French. Is it Bisou? 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 B-I-S-O-U-S. -S. And I Googled it because whenever I see something with foreign writing on, <laughs> I always Google it to make sure I'm not walking around with a jumper that says I am stupid or whatever. And it basically means kisses but in the way of like ending a conversation, like XOXO kind of vibes. So I love that. I feel like chic with denim shorts or jeans, crop jeans always, and a pair of loafers or ballet pumps or even flat sandals. Long explanation for a striped jumper. And then we have another striped jumper, another sweatshirt. I think this one's, oh yeah, this one feels bigger and it's a bit more boxy and it's more creamy. Someone's getting told off downstairs. Five minutes ago, they were singing Greek nursery rhymes and now they're getting in trouble. Oh, it's Andriana by the sounds of it. Okay, another striped sweatshirt. It says the same thing on actually. Really like French vibes, don't you think? With the blue and the cream and the red. But again, with denim shorts, crop jeans, leggings, anything. I just love a sweatshirt, as you can see. I feel like, you know, that the kind of like... Princess Diana, 90s chic, oversized sweatshirt, crop jeans, loafers, that kind of vibe is what I'm going for. Don't think I look as um, chic as Lady Diana, but never mind. Next up, denim shorts. Now, these are a disappointment. If I can figure out... Oh, one minute. Let me go and see what's going on. Disaster resolved. This is the last part of the haul, H&M haul. And it's these denim shorts. I was really hopeful. I don't even know if you can hear me. Mama, I did reach. How did you reach up at them drawers? Because I told you not to climb up the drawers. So how I did didn't. you? How did you get them socks then? I just did stand on the carpet. You stood on the carpet. Well, did your arms grow? How did you get up there? Because yeah. You've got some socks. Basically, these I denim shorts. Hear. I'm a size 14 in general life, but in H&M I always size up, like these jeans are a size 16. How are too big? Um, big oh, maybe they're your sisters though, they're too big for you. No, I just want 
basically I went for the plus H&M plus range in a size 16 thinking it's a plus range they're going to be more comfortable there's going to be more coverage but I've opened them and they don't look very big so I'm going to try them on and I'll update you on the shorts are you all right there yeah. I like your socks they just work socks are they yeah why are you going to work no we're just wearing my work socks oh where are we going today anywhere I'm just wearing them to the restaurant oh no 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 quick outfit of the day before we go out for sunday lunch the green sweatshirt which is from next that i had on when i just did the h&m haul i'm trying to like move the phone so that i'm not getting the street in just in case there's any kids playing um h&m straight leg cropped jeans and i was gonna wear gold loafers no them shoes don't fit you anymore all right, you try then. I was gonna wear, what was I gonna wear? Um, pale, do they fit? Pale gold loafers, but because we're going to a farm shop, I thought country vibes, gonna wear these Holland Cooper brown suede jobbies. So I'll see you when we get there. You know those um, videos that you see on TikTok and Instagram where the parents have got all the kids ready to go out Look like in the car. <laughs> we just had to give him a wallet in because one wants to go Nando's, one wants to go here, one wants to go there. of a virus that the kids have got or something but I just I'm really lethargic I've been snappy I've been moody the last thing I've wanted to do is pick up a candle but I'm starting to feel better now I've got a lemon and honey a hot one that I'm gonna take upstairs with me but I thought I'd just come on because in the morning I want to do a school morning routine before the kids break up but as most of you will know, a school morning routine starts the night before. So we've got packed lunches ready for two of the kids. One's going to nursery, she has dinners there. One's going to school nursery, she has a packed lunch. One's having school dinners and one's going on a school trip, so he needs a packed lunch. Those, by the way, these fabric lunch boxes are the most disgusting things and I'm never buying them again because they make me feel sick. All the crumbs and the bits of yogurt getting all the seams inside. Even when you put it in the dishwasher, with one use, they're filthy again. So I'm never buying them again. But yes, I've had a few days. We all have, I think the whole house, we've all just had a few days. People have been not feeling well. People have been moody. We've, I've been moody. I've not been handling the kids' emotions very well because I've been feeling rubbish. So things that I could probably normally ignore have been irritating me. Um, I've not really wanted to do anything. I mean, look, I've not wanted to get, get dressed very much, like get dressed properly, but it's only been two days. It's not the end of the world. We all have down days. Surprisingly though, this is normally, excuse me, oh, this is normally the time of the month where I'm like, woo, full of life, ovulation time. 
expect on this channel we're going to be talking about hormones, we're going to talk about ovulation, we're going to talk about bad days, we're going to talk about cyclical living, we're going to talk about the time when you do on because it's real life, let's not pretend it doesn't happen. So yes, I'm normally like, this is my peak time of the month. It just didn't come this month. Sucks to be George and dealing with me, but never mind. So yes, pack lunches are done. I'm gonna go upstairs and lay all the kids' clothes out for the morning. I'm gonna even get mine out tonight because the baby has nursery as well. So that's a nursery run and a school run that I need to do. So I like to be super organized on a Wednesday and Friday. I think that's about it. I'm gonna try and get as much as our much of our morning routine filmed as possible, but it's manic and it's crazy, so we'll see how we go. Um yeah, what else was I gonna say? Oh, and after the school run, I'm hoping to go and get my nails done and then I'm meeting some of my friends for a last brunch before the kids break up. Just a little catch up. And ask so that we can have actual conversations without kids, 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 kids. And then that's it, six weeks. Oh. Morning, guys. It's half past six. George has just gone to work. This one's wide awake. Valentina, I'll say morning. Morning. <laughs> and the rest is still asleep. Oh. Valentina. Are you going to nursery today? Huh? Why not? Excuse me. Belly boo boo. I need to ask you a question. Are you going, are you going to nursery today? Are you going to nursery? Yeah. <laughs> Somehow this one, who I normally have to drag out of bed, has ended up in my bed and he needs to get up and get ready for school. Someone <laughs> shout me. Hello. I thought you'd gone to work. Huh? I thought you'd gone yeah, to Yeah, I'm going, yeah. Oh. I, but I heard a shout before I came back in. Oh, she's coming for you. Yeah. Is he going there? Well, that's going to work now. Say bye-bye. Bye. Still if you like it. Bye. Bye, dear. Anyway, bye, everybody. Bye. We're in Margarita's room trying to get her up. I'm not going to put her on camera because she's not a morning person, are you, my love? She doesn't like getting out of bed. Are you getting up? Mm. Andriana, it's time to wake up. That's it. Stretch them toes. We've got one more up. Are you a bit sleepy? The girls are always the sleepy ones, but this one woke up. You woke up for the toilet in the night. Good girl. You didn't do rearies in the bed, did you? Oh. Hmm. Nice. Say hi. Hi. Yeah, I can fix it. Right then, breakfast time, breakfast time. It's not. Well, school. Bagel or crumpet, everybody? Bagel. No, I'm not making omelettes. Do you, want, do you want a bagel or a crumpet? Crumpet? You want a crumpet? No. No, what do you want then? Bacon. No, you're not having chocolate. Would you like a crumpet? Oh, we're going to have a problem then.
Who's? Ariel's. Oh, Ariel's got red hair. One minute. Oh, come back. You know, I'm actually watching the TV and watching you. One minute. <coughs> Valentina, what are you doing? Shoes. Have you got some new shoes? My Margarita, those shoes were yours. And then they were Andriana's and now the Valentina's. Mm. Andrea's ready for his school trip, looking a bit cool, if I do say so. He's got his wellies on, his raincoat and his new cap. Stand up. He's going to the forest today. Stand up. What are you going to do in that forest? You want to build a den? Mm. And has got twinning wellies with Mama, but mine are navy and his are green. I think the green are nice, to be honest. Yeah. You've got the best ones. Oh, you look nice, Valley Boo. Oh, I like your hair as well. Um, Excuse me, that was supposed to be in your bag. The time is 12 minutes past eight and we are off. Let's go, 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 go. Are you all right there, love? Yeah. School run done. I've just nipped home. I've quickly made the beds. I'm going to shove something down me, like probably a few custard cream biscuits, and head back out. But I thought I'd quickly show you. What am I showing you? Oh, my outfit. Um, Cropped, tailored. Are they tailored? I don't know. Cropped trousers from Next. Don't know if you can see they're actually green. They look black, but they're green. They're from Next, and they are the comfiest... One minute, let me get in focus. They are the comfiest trousers. They've got a bit of breathing space. This shacket, which is also from Next, which I will pull these in, but I don't think I can do it with one hand. Right, I've just pulled these little sucker inners in to give me a bit of shape. No makeup, because I can't be bothered. Hair in a... How am I going to show you my hair? One minute. Does that work? <laughs> Hair in a low bun with a scrunchie. Shoes are my seventeen ninety nine H&M. Oops, one minute. H&M dupes. Zoom in a little bit. Perfume is Jo Malone Scarlet Poppy. One there, one there, one in the middle. And now I'm off for nails and brunch. One last thing, I thought I'd show you my bag that I'm taking today. I've got no kids with me, so it's a simple messenger bag in uh, the Louis Vuitton. What is it? Sorry, I'm out of breath. I've just run downstairs and back up again. Whew. The Damier, I'm going to say Damier Ebene. I've probably said it wrong because, again, I'm not French. Everything's French. But this is just simple crossbody bag. I've had it for how many years? I think I'll say 12 years. It's been discontinued now. They do do another style like this, but it's not exactly the same. It's got quite a lot more detailing across the top, I think. But yes, this is my trusty messenger bag. It's chucking it down with rain and it's just handy to just have crossbody bag and off you go. I've been and had my nails done in and out in about 40 minutes. I ask every time for the same thing. So I say, can you go short, short, short down to the top of my fingers and an oval shape? I'm trying to hide the fact that I've got hairy knuckles. Oh, stuff it. I've got hairy knuckles. I need to shave them. Yes, I shave my knuckles. Um, and I just asked for a natural shade. I don't know the name of it because I just went into like a walk-in salon where you just say, can I have that number? Um, yeah, so that's my nails. And now I'm off to meet the girls for breakfast. Hello. I was just about to round this vlog up, could bring it to a conclusion. And I remembered these shorts that I never came back to you with. So these are a size 16 in H&M Plus. And look, uh, there's absolutely no way I can even, on it, uh, no, the top button wouldn't even fasten. And yeah, it's a shame because they're, not, they're quite nice shorts as well. I like the length because they're not right up your bum. But they're gonna have to go back. I mean, I could buy the same shorts again in a bigger size, but number one, I think they've sold out, and number two, it's just so annoying. I know nobody can see the number in the shorts, but it's just so annoying. Why can't they just make things in the right size? So yeah, that's the H&M shorts. It's a shame because they're lovely, but they're going back. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you look nice today. 
I'm going to wrap this vlog up here because I need to get it edited and up in the morning. Today's Saturday. School is out. We are in the summer holidays officially. Next week's vlog, we have got parties coming out of our ears. We've got an exciting event in Manchester that we're going to go to. I'm going to bring you along. After the event, we're probably going to do a bit of window shopping, go for a nice meal. Next weekend, I'm going to my very first festival, which I am excited about at first i was like festival's not really me but as time goes on i really can't wait and i'm going with no kids but i think what i'm gonna do is do a weekly vlog next week with all what we're getting up to parties this that and the other and then do a festival in a separate video as i said last time and i'm probably going to say in every video please if you liked this video like this video and subscribe to our channel subscribing is free it's just basically youtube terminology for follow you can also find us on instagram at broken georgiou and i'll stop rambling now see you in the next video thanks for watching